friends welcome back to my channel today i have for you some amazing thrift flip ideas some um, thrift flipped home decor i really hope you will enjoy and like it let's go ahead and get started i will start off by showing you uh, this table how i redid it uh, in one of my previous videos last summer so it started off as a very simple uh, thrifted uh, side table that I uh, painted and put the stencil on and I had it over the summer now um, after a while I noticed since this is not a real wood this round top uh, I've noticed some damage on the side and I decided I wanted to do something different you can see the damage over here so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and flip it again but before I show you how I did it, I'm going to just tell you that this video is part of the group collaboration, monthly group collaboration with my amazing friends. We get together once a month and we have always different kind of uh, theme for you guys. And every month we have a different co-host. The organizer for this, or actually host of this collaboration is Liana over at Liana DIY. And a special uh, guest host for this month is Donna over at creative by nature and i also have a lot of other friends that play along there's elisa burningham lovely moments creating artsy cupcake diy with amber farm charm chic Lori bly diy crafting my best life with lisa marie and daisy diy and of course myself if you're new to my channel welcome i uh, love that you guys are here on my channel you can find a lot of budget friendly diys decor ideas thrift flips and i'm gonna do a lot more home improvement diys that i'm gonna share with you guys my husband will be included yes that's gonna be exciting if you like something like that please give this video and other videos a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i would love to have you make sure you have a notification bell on uh clicked that way you will not miss out on any of my future videos i'm on instagram pinterest and facebook come and say hi okay let's go and start with this diy now first i took this uh, painter sticks from a home improvement store it were, i think they were 98 cents and i used three packages and i'm going to use this gorilla wood glue and a, a spatula first i'm cutting uh, these um, wood sticks the same length and then i uh, just pour the glue all over one side of the table now if you're doing fast you can do this definitely if you're a little bit slower or if you don't want to worry that the wood glue will dry then definitely uh, add it as you go i decided to go this way and then um, when i started doing on the other side i added one um, you know strip of glue at a time i don't know both works very well but um it just depends what you prefer so i am uh, creating this I, I guess it's called herringbone um, pattern so after i have one side done i decided to go ahead and cut off the excess so i can use uh, those sticks on the other side i'm using my jigsaw to cut it all out and i just lined it a little bit so it is nice and um rounded after everything was done this is how it looks like and now i'm sanding it yes there are some uh, spots as you can see in the middle where um, there is some actually space in between that's because not all of those are the same or those sticks are the same size but it's okay i'm using this wood filler and i fill them all out very very good and i left it to dry overnight after it was everything was completely uh, dried I'm going to show you in just a second how it looks like there it is and now it's time to sand it again i took my time and i sanded it very very well and if there was any spot that i needed to touch up with a uh, wood filler i certainly did it and of course if, if there's anything that was uneven i sanded a little bit more and this is how it looks like after it was all sanded you can leave it like this and you can go ahead and just put a clear coat on top I, however, decided to stain mine with this Veritane wood stain in a color uh, gray. So I'm using just a kid sock, <laughs> um, mismatched kid sock, and I am trying to go with the wood grain. So I am moving my hand to go with the wood grain, and I uh, gave it two good coats. After it was completely dried, I went ahead and got Veritane uh, water-based polyurethane, and I gave it three good coats. 
mine is going to be under the covered porch but if yours is outside certainly um, use any uh, use more actually apply more or anything else after it was done i'm going to just screw the legs in and that's going to be it for this project i cannot explain to you how much i love this i think it turned out absolutely gorgeous it matches perfectly with our new patio furniture i think just the color uh, matches perfectly i love 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 it so much better than the last how it was previously i think i did a really good job i'm so proud of myself and i'm uh, really enjoying working with wood so this was definitely a project um, right up my alley it was easy to make it cost me only three dollars for supplies but as always i want to hear what you guys think about this one But now I want to tell you about my favorite, favorite perfume website. It is Dossier. If you don't know what Dossier is, it makes classic, high-end and luxury scents for the fraction of the price. And you probably wonder how is that possible? Well, by cutting all the expenses and brand taxes. Also, all their perfumes are colorant and UV uh, filter free. They are vegan and cruelty free as well as paraben and phthalate free. I tried two new scents. One of them is this floral lavender, which is actually inspired by YSL Libre, and it smells amazing. It smells fresh, a little bit fruity, just perfect for spring. When you order any a perfume in a, in a box, you get also this card that tells you all the notes that this perfume was based on, and also it tells you what was it inspired by. Beside this one, I also decided to get one for my husband and I got Aquatic Lime, which is actually inspired by Giorgio Armani, Acro de Joe. I'm sure most of you know uh, which one that is. And guys, I have to tell you, these smell exactly the same like the inspiration. I cannot believe it. Not only that these bottles and labels are simple, sleek and elegant, which I absolutely love, they also have magnetic caps. How cool is that? As you can see, Dossier has women, men, and unisex perfumes. They also have candles with all these scents that comes in a perfumes as well. They also have a quiz where they can um, help you realize what scent is perfect for you. Dossier has a risk-free system so you can get to try perfumes before you commit to it. And you also have 30 days uh, for return to get your money back. Dossier also has a welcome offer of 20% that you can use um, on top of my discount code that will be in a description box. So that's more savings for you on already very affordable prices. They also have a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. And at the checkout, you can select a catch to earn $10 sign-on bonus credit. So not only the, the scent in comparison is no brainer, you can also save up to 80% off if you purchase Dossier instead of name brand perfumes. And now I have something a little for you guys. Dossier and I decided to give away this perfume. It is inspired by Chanel Chance and these are the notes. If this is the perfume that you would like, make sure you go to the comments and comment Dossier in the comments. I'm going to have all the um, info in the description box as far as uh, when the drawing will be done. So comment the dossier in my comments and don't forget to go ahead and check out all the links in my description box to buy some of these perfumes. Now let's go ahead with DIY number two. I purchased this uh, vase or pitcher in my local thrift store for $2.99 and first thing I'm going to just clean it out with a wipe make sure everything is nice and clean. Next I'm going to take... Um, my mod podge the mod podge and i will just give it one good coat all the way around because this picture is kind of um very glossy i wanted to make sure the paint stick to it after everything was painted and dried i'm taking this chalk paint in adirondack white um, color and this milk paint in a kind of sand color and with the help of the baking soda i created this texture and this color now I'm using a sponge and just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing all the way around. I made sure I dab it uh, as much as I wanted just to get that texture, not too globby all the way around. I just wanted it to have a little bit of texture. And as you can see over here, when you just put the paint, it gets really um, 
it has a lot of paint on it but if you go around more and more that texture kind of um, gets smaller and just perfect what I wanted I wanted that stone texture so after two coats I left it to dry overnight and this is how it looks like look how beautiful it looks already now I decided to go ahead and get the black acrylic paint and my um, toothbrush and I just sprayed it a little bit I wanted to have just a little bit speckles not too much uh, because I wanted it to look like the inspiration and I'll show you over here so I uh, make these little speckles all the way around not too much and that's going to be it for this project guys I cannot tell you how much I love how this turned out sometimes just a little bit of paint is all it's needed to transform any kind of uh, thing that you buy in a thrift store so when you're buying things in a thrift store make sure you uh, look past the color color is the easiest things to change so tell me in the comments down below what do you think about my project make sure to go ahead and check out also description box for uh, the links for this playlist and amazing amazing creators that are in this playlist for great inspiration also check out this year and i want to thank you all for being here I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.